Hey there, me again. Today, me and Ethan are going on a little impromptu trip and we're gonna be testing out some gear that we've never tried before and doing some other fun stuff and we'll get to that later in the video, but the place we're going to do all that is Los Angeles. So, we've gotta go to the airport and board a plane. I'll see you guys there. I'd be starting this trip with a partial roll of Cinestill 800T that I was pushing to 1600 ISO. This trip would also be the first time either of us would shoot motion picture film. Testing out the new 8mm camera. Give me a little uh, shutter test. cameras were loaded up, we went out to get some Mexican food and shoot some night photos. With a massive burrito and a couple of margaritas down the hatch, we were primed for a night of creativity. Or mediocrity. You can decide for yourself. Okay, we, we literally don't know if any of this is gonna come out or not. Um, first roll shooting it, but I'm optimistic and uh, we might as well shoot cool stuff. And if it doesn't come out, it doesn't come out. I would classify that as cool stuff. The sky is still gonna be dark. I'll do a 30th. And okay. No car. No car. And... Got I gotta go erect for a second. Got You're gonna wanna move. Got it! Alright, <laughs> and here come the cars.
I gotta wait for all this traffic to get out of here. But I'm ready to go. I'm at 5.6 and at an eighth of a second. That's gonna be good. Here we go. I really liked how this photo turned out. I did some experimenting with this photo and my camera scanning setup where I used spot metering, multi-metering, and center-weighted metering on the same negative. I got some noticeable variation between all three. four seconds so I'm probably gonna go five just for funsies I'll just put it in bulb mode count myself one two three four five and a little extra there we go Believe it or not, right after I took a photo of this spot, Batman walked out of this bar, looked both ways, and started walking down the street. I guess he needed a break from fighting crime in Gotham. The next morning we woke up, boarded the train, and rode the rails in search of a change of scenery. The scenery we were looking for was located in none other than LA's Chinatown. This one to six by seven to get Ethan's elbow out of the shot, but I really like how this one turned out. This was it for my roll of Cinestill, so I decided to shoot my first ever roll of Pro Image 100.
I really like this photo. The tree in the center frame looks very nice and so does the tile on the left side with the remnants of the words Chinese American. I think this was a Chinese American Citizens Alliance building. Looks abandoned now, but it's beautiful in its own sort of eerie way. This photo is good, but I noticed an old lady walking into frame and took another shot. I think this adds the perfect element of human presence. This one turned out well too. I love how the shop owner is hidden in this sea of gifts and newspapers. We ordered way too much food here at the Yang Chow restaurant. After a morning in Chinatown, we hopped on the train and headed back towards Hollywood Boulevard. We stopped at Amoeba Records and walked around on the strip for a little while. Then we took an Uber to the coast for a golden hour photography session in Santa Monica. I love photographing beaches, and Santa Monica was a great one to add to the collection. I love how minimal this roller coaster composition is. The groupings of people in this photo are great. The people with the dog are a good group, and the woman and kids looking out through the binoculars are another well-defined group. The pier was nice to see, but I didn't need to be there long to make some good photos. My next spot to photograph is Palisades Park. A lot of the trees in the park had really interesting shapes, and it was fun to work them into my photos for some very interesting compositions. As the light faded, I switched to Portrait 800.
Cotton candy clouds are gorgeous. I also really like the kites in the sky of this composition. Once it got dark, we met up with my friend Cameron and his brother Skylar for drinks and street food. And night photography, of course. I love this photo. The glowing sign between the palm trees is so good. I also really like how dreamy this lifeguard station is. Day three started off at Danny Trejo's Donut Shop. No. After that, we looked for a good view of the Hollywood sign. We also explored around Paramount Studios for a while. at this auto shop were really interesting. The knobby tires they used to hold down the car covers add some good character. No. No. This is one of those photos where you can't really tell what year it is, which I always enjoy. Our next stop was the Hollywood Cemetery, which has mutant chickens as security. Pretty good strategy, if I'm being honest. This shot is really cool because of the depth. You might not notice the peacocks if you don't look close enough, which I like. That was it for Portrait 800, so I put in another roll of Pro Image 100. That afternoon, we went to the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures, which was really cool if you're a movie lover. After that, we figured we should stop by Beverly Hills.
This area was another good place to work some cool trees into my compositions. The light in this shot was beautiful, but it needed something else. And wouldn't you know it, a bright yellow Porsche drove by. The last photos from this trip were on Hollywood Boulevard as the light was fading. I only had 100 speed film, but I got some good stuff with it. No hands on the bike. Absolute classic. Ethan and I both finished our rolls and we only had one thing left to do that night. This was the thing that inspired the whole trip, a thing that could very well change our lives forever. Seeing Oppenheimer on 70mm IMAX film at the Chinese theater. But we didn't just see Oppenheimer on IMAX, we actually got connected with one of the projectionists whose name was Charlie, and he offered to show us the projection room before the movie. The process of feeding the film through the projector seems very complicated, but it was really cool to see how it's done and chat about movies and filmmaking for a while. Thanks for showing us around, Charlie made the experience of seeing a movie at the Chinese theater that much more immersive. And just like that, we were back on the plane and our time in LA had come to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I got some photos that I'm really happy with and getting to shoot motion picture film for the first time was really cool. Maybe there will be more of that in the future. Anyways, that's it for this one. Make sure you get out and see something new every once in a while, and try to leave this planet better than you found it. See you next time. Bye now.